Welcome to the Stateless 50 Watt installation video. Here is a brief description of the pole assembly for the Stateless 50 Watt. Drill three holes through the pole. Top hole 0.5 inches, middle hole 1.35 inches, and bottom hole 0.5 inches. Next to the 1.35 inch center hole, drill an extra hand hole so that you can connect all the cables inside of the pole. This fixture comes with one solar panel. These are all the components we provide with the Stateless 50 Watt. First, attach component K to the solar panel using the four screws from component K A. Secure the screws in this order. Next, secure component F to the pole. If your pole is square or too big for component F, you will need to purchase a tenon adapter. Please contact your pole manufacturer for the tenon adapter. They will provide a tenon adapter that fits your pole. The top of the tenon adapter should be a maximum of 3.1 inches wide and 5.5 to 7.1 inches tall. Secure component F with the screws from component kit B. and feed wire M through the top of the pole. Connect the solar panel to component F by using the screws in component kit B and component kit D. The solar panel is adjustable. You can access the panel angle chart in the installation manual or on our website at www.soltechlighting.com. Once you choose a desired angle, secure with screws from component kit D and then connect the solar panel wire to wire M. Next, install the luminaire and battery bracket. Align component H to the holes on the pole and then attach component I with the two long screws from component kit C. On the other side of the pole, align and attach component G. Secure and tighten the two long screws from component kit C then hang the battery pack and secure with screws from component kit E. Now install the luminaire. Feed the wire of the luminaire through component J and then secure the luminaire with screws from component kit E to component H. Connect all of the cables through the extra handhole, battery pack to the luminaire and the controller to the solar panel. Keep the extra handhole covered so the cables are unharmed. The light head is adjustable. Remove the screws on the light head to adjust the angle. Then tighten for desired angle. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit www.soltechlighting.com.